Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have decided <laughs> to do an adventure. And I wasn't doing this. I s and Miss Cats Crafting and Miss Tina from Tina's Messy Crafty Life. And then I seen, I think, Pine Hollow, um, Heather was doing this. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it. And then I started thinking, I need something else. And I'm like, this might work for me. It's prompts every week. It's Artiston Journal Prompts 2024. Now, I started this when they were on Prompt 13. I think it's greetings cards. So, we are going to play catch up on this video so I don't have like 13 weeks of videos. So, this is actually, well, I'm recording April 1st, so April Fool's. And I went back to Life with Patty. She is the, the host of it. It is an open collab. So let's get started, okay? All right, so I have this so I know that's when it starts with the little flip. This is also the same book that I have my backgrounds that I'm doing and my doodles. So instead of trying to do three journals, I'm doing, they're all in this one so then I know where they're at. So the first week is an intro week and I'm just this, I did this and I'm just going to read it because honestly, if you guys don't know my channel and don't know what's going on, this is going to pretty much sum it up. Okay. So it's artistry journal prompt 2024 hosted by life with Patty was told by miss cats crafting and Tina's messy crafty life. I started late. I started on March 20, uh, 23rd, uh, 2024. I decided I wanted to start the journal because of the crap that I've been going through in life. My dad died in 20, uh, well, 9 11 of last year. Really haven't dealt with his death. My mom is on hospice and I'm trying to deal with her divorce and the auction of their house and personal properties. My mom isn't doing well. They gave her six months to a year in August. I have to start making her funeral arrangements, which I did that today. Um, this is going to be the hardest day so far, but I know I need it to be done so I can grieve when it happens. But for now, I thought this would be something I could take my mind and the crap I am dealing with. I hope this will keep my mind off of things. Thank you to Life with Patties for hosting the collab. Now, I will tell you, it is April 1st, and I am completely caught up. Um, this is very true. My mom, now, for what hospice has told my family, she has anywhere between one and three months. Yes, I do realize that when God's ready to let, to, to take her, he's going to take her. Um, I'm just trying to be prepared for myself and my son um, with everything going on. So that was week one. Um, one page, I did do it. Week two, it was pictures. So here it is. Um, this was March 24th. It was on a Sunday. We went to see the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It is a good movie. That's my opinion. Um, and as you can see, these are pictures of Zach and we weren't going to say nothing, but this is Cindy Lou. This is, um, her, well, she is four weeks old and she will be coming home probably the week of the auction to be totally honest, March 20th or April 20th. So this is our, our new baby girl. Um, she has a chocolate, full blooded chocolate lab. And she's the runt. So she is so small. This is our second time seeing her. Um, the first time we seen her, I could not like, she just was the palm of my hand. That was it. This was the first time Zach actually held her. So that was very near and dear to my heart. So I decided to journal on it. Now, 
I, I know you guys can't see it on here, but there's like these gleams of light. And when we were there, that was not there. So I'm not for sure what that is. Um, so week three, because I'm playing catch up, was stickers. So if you've been around long enough to know that I love Winnie the Pooh, my favorite, my favorite favorite is Eeyore. Um, my less favorite is on this page too. Um, but I'm letting that go. Gotta let things go. Um, but I went into the background and just found my favorite stickers. This is not a sticker, but I just liked it. And this one's not a sticker. Let me scooch up more. Alright, week... You see, I don't even know the, the weeks here. And that's kind of why I had this like this. Week four. Winter theme. And... I went in my winter stuff and voila! I went and found different paper. This is some of the paper that you always get with, um, like when you buy the magazines and you never know what to do with that paper. And then I found some of these snicker, snickers, stickers, and it says fun time. So that is what I did for the winter theme. Week five is a quote or like a Bible verse, and this is on my wall, and this is really the only thing that I even think about. There's no other quote right now that I could think of, but this is what it was. Our family is like the branches of a tree. We may grow in different directions. Our roots remain the same. So I made the, like, I drew the trees and everything else, and that, that is actually on one of my walls in my house. So I figured it was fitting to put it in there. Um, so, uh, let's see. Week six was Valentine's Day. So I went ahead. This is one of my ETC cards that I made. And these these are ETC cards I made. And these are the little, like, little Valentines that, it, and some stickers that I had gotten from the DT. This is, like, the stuff that I had left over to make in my ETC cards. Week seven. Yep. So week seven, I always have like different like scraps. And I've actually, after this one, I threw all my scraps away to start over again. So the scraps are the background. And then these are my different stuff um, that I had, like stickers and stuff like that. So I just kind of made a, a collage. Week eight is something that makes you happy. Okay, here's the problem I did on this. I started in the middle of the book and I was trying to count the weeks so I would get all 52 weeks. Somewhere I messed up, but I do have it, week eight. Something that makes me happy. Don't look at this yet. Don't look at that page yet. Close your eyes, okay. So this is week eight. Uh, something that makes me happy is spending time exploring new and different um, zoos with my family. Usually every year we go to a different one. This year we're probably not. But this is Zach at the Fort Wayne Zoo. That is one of his favorite animals. Um, that's my favorite animal. Just saying, it's a tiger. Um, did the background. And this is no cuppy if nobody knew that. But that is Zach's second favorite animal. And this was at the Columbus Zoo. In Ohio that was like a th almost a three a three and a half hour drive um, both of these were Fort Wayne that's a red panda so that is the week eight now I gotta go back and find week nine was watercolor now um, I used the one stuff that I had already kind of really done these were my I, I made some birds and it was doing like Winslow birds and watercolor so I did these three. I was going to do them as ATCs, and I decided this would be a cute way to display my art on... This is my second attempt. And then here's my little bird. This was my first attempt of watercoloring. See, I messed right here up. But, you know, it's my bird. I think she looks very, very cute. Um, I have done two. The other one has sent to somebody because she asked me to make her one, and I did. Because um, she thought it was cute. All right, what else we got here? Am I caught up yet? I might do all this one. I will go all the way to probably week 13 and then week 14. I will do a different video for that. 
So what I had done on this is, I, it is a still a two, a two page, but I had little strips. I just glued them and then I did this. That's why it's like that. All right. This is a week of buttons. These come from out of my mom's, my mom's stuff. Um, I was able to get some of my mom's things. Other stuff goes to auction. Um, she, she didn't get hardly anything of her craft stuff. And I think that's really crappy, but you know, life goes on and you just gotta, you gotta move forward. And that's what I'm trying to do. And this is helping. Honestly, I did this through the whole week that Zach was on spring break. Actually, I think I did it within four days thinking about it and doing it and everything. Okay. We, the next week is week 11. This was week 10. Week 11 was green. Of course, I'm going to do St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to do everything St. Patrick's Day because St. Patrick's Day is my birthday. So I thought it was more than fitting to have Happy St. Patrick's Day on there, um, to have March 17th on there. And I stamped and colored every single one of them. And I love that stamp set. The next week is week 13, and it is, am I in there? And it is circles. Of course I did doodling. I am so into doodling, and this, her name is Dawn, and I did a video about it if you want to go back and start doing it. Her doodling, and I know they call it Zen or something, I can't do, saying that word just makes me think, I can't do that, but calling it doodling and doing stuff like this, I can do this and I enjoy doing this. So I decided to go ahead and make the circles. Um, every circle is, is a little different. I guess it's on a stencil. My favorite one of doodling, and I will say this right now, are these, these right here. I, it's just one of my favorites. Um, these I did like little flowers and just put um, little sceneries in them. Like little circle stickers. That's like a circle. Just like little circle stickers that kind of... I think it, it fits on what I, what, I, what I did. The next week is... Um, and this will be the last one for this video. Because this is a long video and I do apologize. Is week... What is this? 13? Yeah. It's greeting cards. Um, I did the backgrounds and then I went searching because I, I could not think of anything to do with greeting cards. I'm like, okay, wait a second. I think I kept two of my very first cards that I ever did because I'm not a card maker. I do make cards every once in a while, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that because if I do, I'll get yelled at. It's not my favorite thing to do. I will say it that way. I can do it. It's not my favorite thing to do. So this one is, um, I got a Bambi stamp. Um, this actually came with a kit. I stamped them. I painted them. And it was one of the very first cards I did. So I thought it was more than fair to put it in a journal that I know in all honesty, I will be keeping this for Zach if something ever happens to me because it's got pictures of Cindy Lou in it. Um, things like that. This, I made that same year and it was 20... 22 and it's it was just a simple card that's how I got the background colors was for the most part was from this card and I had to do a little doodling okay guys that is week 13 and I am actually caught up uh week 14 is out and I can't remember what it is spring theme so stay tuned for that and guys I it's an open collab and as you can see I did I was able to get it started and get it get caught up um, I've noticed and I've, I I don't comment and I do apologize guys when I'm when I'm watching the videos I'm crafting and I forget to comment um, when I'm watching videos and seeing that some people are only doing one pages so um, on the prompt but uh, life with Patty does do the prompt 
every Sunday at midnight, I think is what um, it comes out to be. So if you guys want to participate or just try it, go check her hers out. You can hashtag, hashtag it and find it. I will have the hash down in the, um, oh, what is it called? The title and probably in the, in the description box, but I hope you enjoyed it. I am enjoying doing this. I'm hoping I'm giving you different stuff to do and to watch on the channel. So guys, until next time, tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Till next time, please stay safe and keep confident and bye for now.